Welcome, Mr. Devendra Kumar, to our show. Thank you very much for inviting me over your show. It's always a pleasure talking to you. You are welcome. We are glad that you join us. Uh, Mr. Kumar, if we see this is the third World Cup in which Afghanistan cricket team is participating, uh, what do you think as compared to previous World Cup, is this the best group of guys or players that will be participating in this ODI World Cup? Well, this World Cup is going to be different on many aspects for Afghanistan. First, uh, the level of cricket has changed. Uh, the, there is more emphasis on fitness. And uh, secondly, the amount of cricket, amount of co competitive cricket that Afghanistan has played, leading into the World Cup, like uh, they played the Green Cup of Afghanistan, then they played a series against Sri Lanka, then a series against uh, Bangladesh, which they went on to win the series. And uh, then a crucial series against Pakistan and then the Asia Cup. The way they played against Sri Lanka in the Asia Cup and also in the second one-day international at Amman Tota uh, against Pakistan, uh, that's going to overwhelm for the confidence of the batters for Afghanistan. Fitness-wise, uh, when it comes to balance, batting, bowling, fielding, uh, spin department, base department, I think this is uh, one of the best teams that Afghanistan could have sent to India. And I think uh, this team has the potential to do something special. Okay. Uh, if we see in recent past, Afghanistan uh, cricket team has performed really well in ODI format, like beating Bangladesh in Bangladesh. That was a big achievement or qualifying uh, to, directly to the World Cup in India. So there's a big achievement in this format. Uh, how do you see their, uh, their campaign in this World Cup, like uh, adding the players' experience in Indian conditions? Mujib, Rashid, Nabi, Noor. Uh, even Gurbaz played the IPL in Indian conditions. How do you see their progress in campaign in this World Cup? I think in this World Cup, looking at, as you already mentioned in this question about the experience of playing in Indian conditions, for Rashid, Nabi, Mujib, and uh, also Gurbaz recently, I think it's going to help uh, great deal. The conditions that uh, they usually play in United Arab Emirates, I think similar kind of conditions you can expect in India. So it's winter season, so there will be due aspect uh, in the game as well. At the same time, uh, because of the winter, a bit of moisture in the air, there's going to be some sea movement, some more help for the fast bowlers and more help for the spinners as well. The ball is going to be skid off the surface. Uh, so overall factor, the amount of experience at the same time uh, playing in conditions, uh, which is quite familiar for Afghan uh, players. And I think they will certainly enjoy. And most of the matches that Afghanistan is going to play, for example, in Chennai, which uh, is suitable for spin bowlers, like now, uh, excellent surface for spin bowlers, also Delhi, and uh, pitches uh, in Pune also support uh, spin bowlers. So Afghanistan is playing most of their matches where uh, spinners play a big part in Indian subcontinent, especially in India. So uh, I think will we, be... it goes too well. Okay, will uh, the toss be a big factor in this World Cup for Afghanistan team because they will be playing three spinners. And as you mentioned, there will be a due factor also. So do you think that the toss will play an important role in selecting the bowlers and uh, performing there in India? Yeah, that's, that's absolutely right. Toss is going to play a vital role because of the winter conditions. Uh, there is going to be a lot of due, as uh, we have already seen in series versus Australia. For example, today India was asked to chase and uh, it was not enough. India could not get over the line. Uh, so uh, due will certainly play a massive part, uh, but it, it changes because... Uh, that there will be due at some places, there won't be due at some places. Uh, so winning the toss and uh, and bowling first is not a bad option. But looking at the history of Afghanistan cricket, I think they prefer to put the total on the board and then look to defend uh, by strangulation, uh, by using the three high-quality spinners in the ranks. Uh, and in the evening, the ball is going to swing for 15 overs. If they don't lose wicket, uh, they can exercise control. But looking at the amount of spinners that Afghanistan possess, I think uh, winning the toss and batting first or bowling first, that's a big challenge for Afghanistan, to be honest. Uh, because uh, batting, is uh, spin is their biggest strength coming into competition. And uh, spin is bowl well when there is no due. Uh, there is no doubt about that. Yeah. But Afghanistan has to think about their batting unit as well. Can their batting unit uh, sustain the pressure of a high-quality opposition in a, in a high-quality match? Uh, so that's the question. I think... Uh, Afghanistan is comfortable betting first and putting runs on the board and then putting pressure on the spinners to take wickets. And the amount of experience that they possess, I think they should be able to do it. Uh, toss is going to certainly play a part, but uh, 
I think rest of the teams would like to you know win the toss and uh, in some areas, in, in some venues they would uh, bet first and in some venues they will bowl first. So it's going to be very tricky. They need to understand the conditions on the given day to make the decision. It's very difficult to predict now uh, what should they be doing. Yeah, true. That's uh, that will be a tricky uh, thing for all the teams in participating in this World Cup. Mr. Kumar, let's uh, talk about Afghanistan team bowling strategy. As we see in recent past, they always start with Farooqi from one end and Mujib from other end. And this is a kind of strategy that they really rely on that Mujib will take uh, some wickets with the new ball also. Don't you think so? this strategy should be changed in this World Cup as we are seeing? Fast bowlers are also getting help under lights or even in bowling fast in afternoon match. So don't you think so? From the both ends, there should be a fast bowler bowling, fast bowlers? Well, it will depend on the conditions. If uh, there is a lot of sea movement or swing available, then Afghanistan will certainly try to use uh, Fazilak Faruqi and Ismata Dawmar Jain. Or, for example, Naveen Unakar for a couple of moves with the sea, with, with his ability to get the movement. But I strongly believe that Mujib is a fantastic bowler in, inside the first 10 overs when the field restrictions are on. He's an accurate bowler. He can get some movement of the, of the pitch as well. He can swing the ball back into the into the right header, the end drifter, and he's got plenty of variations and he bowls quickly. He bowls uh, rapidly, so at rapid pace, so it does not give much time to the batsman when the footwork is shaking. So I still believe you need some kind of control from one end to allow President Faruqi to try out those wicket-taking deliveries, and I think Mujib is not a bad option. Uh, but uh, if there is enormous amount of movement available, then they will certainly try to use the fast bowlers. It depends on, on the given day. The conditions will be different, that's for sure. As you said, Mujib is really good when bowling and the first power play over the new ball. He has a good control and he has some variations that can uh, take wickets for Afghanistan team. If Mujib doesn't bowl with the new ball, they change the plan and use Asmat with Farooqi or other fast bowler with Farooqi together. So then in medal overs, who is the best option according to you, Noor or Mujib? Noor is, uh, like we see, he's a China man. He also has some great variations and he has done well in the recent uh, concluded IPL on Indian pitches. So who will be your choice uh, in the medal overs, Noor or Mujib? I think Mujib is uh, one of the best bowlers in the world. If you speak to uh, the captains or players from various sides in the world, they would reckon Mujib is the biggest threat for uh, for any team. More than Rashid Khan, they consider Mujib the biggest threat because of his mystery bowling. Uh, so Afghanistan would ideally like to bowl him in the power play overs, uh, but he can bowl at any stage in the play. And uh, Mujib will certainly get the go ahead uh, of uh, Noor Ahmad. Noor is a fantastic bowler. He is developing into uh, into a match winner as well. And in the middle stage uh, of the innings, when you look for breakthroughs, I think he's a good option. He tosses the ball up, he's got the variations. He can get the ball to bounce and can create problems for the opposition. And uh, I, I won't be surprised if they, they will play all the four spinners, uh, especially in Chennai. Okay. Uh, so how do you rate the batting lineup uh, of Afghanistan? How do you analyze these batters? in these conditions as compared to other participating teams. The batting has been a headache for Afghanistan for quite a long, long time. But now we have seen by uh, Ibrahim Zadran, Rahmanullah Gurbaz, they have done fantastic job for the team. How do you see this batting lineup in the World Cup? Well, there is no doubt about the potential when it comes to meeting the global standards uh, in the batting department. Uh, Rahmanullah Gurbaz has already shown with his ability to score uh, big runs against Pakistan century against Pakistan and century against uh, Bangladesh as well. Ibrahim has been getting runs consistently. And good to see uh, Rehma Shah getting runs uh, in the Asia Cup. Ashwath has also got some runs. And Najibullah is uh, trying to get into the blue. So they got the batting lineup. The potential is there. But uh, can they translate it into the result? Because uh, performing as, uh, you know, in a team environment where, uh, you know, you think that uh, there is not much of pressure to, uh, to tackle with, and especially when you're playing the World Cup. Handling the pressure and managing the expectation of the crowd and the expectation of the people at home and your own expectation, it's going to be a massive challenge as a betting unit for Afghanistan. Uh, so they fall in the category. Uh, they are on par with Bangladesh and uh, Sri Lanka and to a certain extent uh, South Africa as well when it comes to betting potential. Uh, but uh, do they match the, the standards of, for example, uh, India, Australia and England? 
I think they are high quality teams. Uh, they have a lot of experience of playing in very different conditions and different types of bowling as well. Afghanistan has certainly got the potential, uh, but uh, on the experience front, I think uh, India, England, and uh, and to a certain extent uh, Australia are far far ahead of Afghanistan in the batting department. But uh, the quality of the spin bowling that Afghanistan possesses and uh, various other factors will also come into play when it comes to conditions. I think that's where Afghanistan can take some advantage uh, against the oppositions because uh, most of the teams don't play the spin well. And uh, with the expectation of the spin playing a massive part, I think Afghanistan uh, will try to exploit these conditions and make it difficult for bigger teams like India, England and uh, Australia. The rest of the teams, they can beat any team, including Pakistan. Well, as we know, the conditions will be challenging for the batsmen, for all the teams. So what is the key for the success for Afghan batters to succeed in such conditions? How they should apply themselves or what should be their approach uh, while batting on such pitches? Well, in one new format, and especially uh, with uh, the directive from the ICC about uh, providing conditions uh, where there should be a bit of grass on the pitch and at the same time uh, longer boundaries, I think the best thing that Afghanistan can do is using their uh, players with the sound technique like Ibrahim Jadran and uh, at the same time Rehma Shah and Hashmat uh, to counter any movement that is available and uh, don't give too many wickets early on the first 10 overs because uh, the swing is not going to last more, you know, the longer than the expected 10 to 15 overs it's going to move around. After that, uh, the ball becomes short and it becomes easy for uh, scoring. Uh, so I think it's about handling the first 10 overs. Uh, uh, with the bat, uh, they need to apply their mind, they need to play defensively well. At the same time, if there is an opportunity, then they would certainly like to take ch uh, charge uh, to put the opposition bowler under pressure. So it's about just protecting your wickets in the first 10 overs. And as we all know, there are plenty of all-rounders in the Afghanistan unit, so they can take advantage in the last 10 overs to get as, in, as many runs as possible. Uh, Mr. Kumar, how do you rate Ashmatullah Shahidi? As a captain and as a batsman in this team, looking to his performance as a captain and batsman in both departments, how do you rate him? Well, uh, the great commentator and former cricketer of uh, Australia, Richie Benno, used to say that uh, captaincy is about 90% all, all about luck, 10% uh, it's about skill. And uh, I think uh, Ashmat has certainly got the skill to captain the side. He's cool, calm and collected, uh, you know, uh, captain who likes to you know, take his time and uh, is very good when it comes to making calculations. Uh, but, you know, it depends on the performance of the side. For example, Afghanistan has directly qualified for the ICC ODI World Cup, where West Indies couldn't qualify, Zimbabwe couldn't qualify. Uh, in that sense, I think it's done uh, reasonably well for Afghanistan. The amount of talent that is available is been using well. The most important aspect getting into any tournament is, is about the environment of the team. And I think uh, everyone is in, enjoying their company and in the Afghanistan unit as we saw the pictures emerging from the Bangladesh tour, also from Pakistan tour, you know, all the players gathering and the way they've been celebrating. And also in that, uh, that match in the Asia Cup, that tells a lot about uh, his influence as a leader uh, in the side and the way he's been able to you know, handle all, all the outside distractions. At the same time, in managing the expectation of the players and forms of the players and the fitness of the players, where, uh, you know, they, they won't be, you know, all the best players available all the time. So it's about, you know, somehow balancing it out, all the things and, and doing it. Captaincy is not just about, you know, making decisions on the field. It's about, you know, handling pressure, handling pressure of expectations. And at the same time, if there is any distraction, uh, shutting off that distraction, I think that's where Ashwat has done reasonably well. If you see nowadays in cricket, fast bowling all-rounders are rated very high and they are in demand for every team. Uh, to be successful or even in this World Cup, if we see all the teams, they have world-class all-rounders. In Afghanistan, team have um, Omar Zay as a fast-bowling all-rounder. How do you see the progress of this young man in this team? And what do you think about his performance? How will he perform on these in these conditions on such pitches? I think uh, with the expectation of all swinging around in the first 10 overs, uh, he can get the ball to swing. And uh, as we saw in the Bangladesh Premier League and the limited opportunities that he's got as a bowler, he can get the ball to swing and can get the top orders. He bowls at 145, which is a plus for Afghanistan. And he's a fantastic batsman. We haven't seen the best of uh, Azmatullah with bat in hand. I've seen the Spagiza Cricket League in 2020 
and a uh, few examples that we saw against Bangladesh in T20 uh, series that uh, is certainly capable of uh, getting runs with the bat. Uh, he's been recovering, he's uh, coming back from the injury side strength and hopefully he should be okay to bat and bowl and, and make contribution in the field as well. Under pressure, uh, I what I believe strongly about his ability that he can handle the pressure well and he's a high quality batsman. We haven't seen the best of uh, Azmatullah so far with bat but I think this World Cup is a perfect platform for Azmatullah to showcase why uh, the whole of Afghanistan strongly believe in his ability to uh, to make a difference to the Afghanistan unit. Uh, according to you, Mr. Kumar, what can be the reason that the Afghanistan captain is not utilizing the abilities of Asmatullah Omarzai properly? If we see he doesn't bowl 10 overs hardly in ODI match or he comes to the bat where he lowered the order. What do you think? How they should manage this young all-rounder and how they should use him? Well, he is an all-rounder, so you expect him to bowl at, at least six to seven overs. Not all the all-rounders bowl the 10 overs uh, because Afghanistan has plenty of resources. For example, three high-quality spinners bowling 30 overs. Then you got further like uh, Faruqi as a, as a fast bowler, so he's going to bowl 10 overs. And then uh, there are plenty of options as well in the team uh, you know, who can roll their arm over and can, uh, can provide the breakthrough. So it depends on the situation. Uh, a fully fit Azmatada will certainly bowl at least seven to eight overs. That's for sure. And I think uh, uh, Afghanistan is uh, keenly thinking about uh, this aspect. And we will see a different approach from Afghanistan captain and uh, Afghanistan team management in, in the in the World Cup. Uh, we, we may see him bowling a lot of overs and at the same time uh, betting at higher position. Uh, so. It depends on the team situation and what is required, what are the conditions available. Uh, so I think, and sometimes it's about managing the workload as well. If someone is experiencing some kind of niggle getting into tournament, so they have to take care of all the aspects. And uh, you're right, uh, his full potential has not been uh, you know, exploited so far from the captains. And, and I hope that in the World Cup, uh, he will uh, bowl a lot of overs for Afghanistan. Uh, if required, because, because the spin attack is so good, you never know. You know, we, we might see some betting collapses from the oppositions. Uh, looking at the quality and the way Rashid Khan has been preparing for this uh, this event, and uh, and there are some pitches where the spin will play a busy part. So I think uh, he may not get to bowl because of the high quality spin bowling attack. Okay, Mr. Kumar, my last question for you is. Uh, what are the areas that Afghan team should cover to be successful in this World Cup? If we see in the last uh, previous series, the fielding is not quite up to the mark. So what are the other areas they should cover to be successful team in this World Cup? The most important aspect you just highlighted, the fielding aspect, because uh, fielding sets the tone of the, uh, of the unit. And uh, sometimes it creates pressure, sometimes it releases the pressure if the fielding is not up to the mark. You need to take the catches as well, as we saw in series against Pakistan, some easy catches going down. Uh, so catches need to be taken. Uh, otherwise, there are some good fielders in the, in the team and they have put in a lot of uh, hard yard as well. Uh, but I think from where it was in 2017-18, from where it is, I think we have already seen a uh, big development when it comes to you know, improvement in the level of fielding. Uh, I think betting... Uh, betting, I think it's about discipline. Uh, so if they get their short selection right, they need to use their mental energies, uh, you know, with a bit more clarity and purpose. And uh, if there is 100% commitment into every shot that they play, I think we will see better decision making from the betters, and uh, that that could well, you know, bring about a big difference in in the total that they're going to manage in this tournament. So it's about uh, mental discipline when it comes to handling the new ball. Uh, against high quality oppositions and uh, at the same time the fielding standards of the unit uh, the spin bowling is fantastic pass bowling I think uh, Fazil has to realize that he's not going to take wickets in every match there will be conditions where the ball will not move around that time he has to identify the area where he should be landing sometimes he tries too many deliveries early on too much to get the wicket and uh, the moment he realize that the ball is not going to swing around they need to find uh, the stock areas, the areas where they can just get few dot deliveries in. And that should be the focus. It's about understanding their craft well and using well in, in fast bowling department. And betting, it, it's about mental discipline. And the bowling, the spin bowling, you know that how good the Afghan spinners are. So I don't see any anything uh, that I can suggest when it comes to spin bowling of Afghanistan. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Kumar, for joining us. We are very grateful and thankful to you. Wonderful uh, chatting with you about cricket and and uh, wishing you all the very, very best and wishing that uh, Afghanistan will create some magic in this tournament.